all right so in today's tutorial we'll be looking at brownian motion simulation in r and one thing that you have to note with brownian motion is that it is often used in corporate finance to explain the movement of asset prices okay it is also a continuous time continuous state stochastic process it's a type of markov process with a mean change of zero and a variance rate of one per year okay and it has been used in phases to describe the motion of a particle that is subject to a large number of small molecular shocks often referred to as the winner process okay so um, this is basically um, how the Brownian motion look like I want to simulate this in R this can be thought of as the motion of a particle that diffuses randomly along a line so um, at each point in time the particle's position can be seen to be normally distributed with a mean of what zero and the variance is respect to time how do we simulate this in r before we jump into r we have to know the random variable that we're going to use to simulate this so consider simulating burning motion on this time interval to generate n samples of returns or stock prices we are going to make use of this um, formula, right? And this, the, the derivation of this formula is beyond the content in this video. I'm going to leave a doc the document for this in the description below so that you can um, download it and maybe go through it if you want to know how we derive this, right? So this basically um, is the formula that we're gonna use to simulate the Brownian motion and this dt defines the change in time that's t divided by n right and the zi's are the independent and identical distributed normal random variable so this is basically what we're going to use to simulate the Brownian motion in r so we can now jump into r all right so here we are before we start we have to first of all define some of the parameters that we will, we will need we will need a sample size or the number of z series right number of observed sample returns that's our n so n let's say 1000 right we need 1000 of um, observed sample returns and we also need a time horizon the time horizon is going to be one right so time horizon is going to be one that's daily basically we're looking at daily returns right um, we also need to because the burning motion is says continuous time um, and also continuous states to cast the process the time domain must be continuous right so we have to define it we have to make sure that this is continuous so we are going to use a time step so time step is going to be sequence I'm going to use the sequence function to get the to make the time continuous right so sequence zero to one oh no zero to um t right t is one zero to t then we will need um the length should be n plus one remember that one of the properties of burning motion um states that at time zero the burning motion is zero so this condition is to cater for that observed um series when the time is zero the burning motion is going to be zero right so that's why we have n plus one so this is basically the time step time step okay so once we are done with this um we also have to define the from the formula we need um change in time that's the dt so let's go back dt is t divided by n right that's changing time the rate of changing time right then we also need um the um brennan motion right the random variable so bt is going to be square root right of dt 
multiply this by the sum of the independent and identically distributed standard normal random variables and we're going to use this is supposed to be summed together so we're going to use the come sum function in the community sum function in r to get this result so um come sum function that's the community sum function so uh, random numbers right so we need um n plus one right mean of zero mean of zero right and the standard deviation is one right so we are good to go so um this basically defining the um Brownian motion random variable right so once we have this um we should be good to go so now we can plot this so let's plot the time step on the x axis right then bt that's the burning motion should be on the y axis right then um we have to connect this um observed series with a line so i'm going to use type so type should be line then I can give a color to this let's say this should be blue then i can also um basically the define the x lip right so this is time on the x axis is time right on the y axis we have the simulator returns or let's say the Brownian motion right simulated bm so that's a Brownian motion so let's see this so i'm gonna run this together all right okay so here we are okay so i think we are good to go so um let me add the a straight line i'm using the a b line function to get some straight line um the line type should be um dashed so i'm using two for dashed i can give a color to this let's say red right so let's see so that's it so this is basically representing um the graph that we have in our slide so if i rerun this i'm going to get a different path if i rerun this i'm going to get a different path altogether so let's see okay so as we run it several times we are going to get different path okay so you see with this we are getting negative values for the burning motion in our next tutorial we'll be looking at the geometric burning motion since we'll be dealing with stock prices and stock prices can never be negative we will we'll see that the burning the values on the y axis will be different as compared to this one okay so um, this is basically how to um, simulate brownian motion in R. Please, if you find value in this video, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And also turn on the notification to get any update anytime I post on this channel. Thank you for watching.